What's going on, guys? It is Jordan with M Times with Jordan. And uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry it's been a good like 30 plus days since I've made a video. Just kind of how it is sometimes. Uh, so there's going to be a change with how I kind of operate this channel. Lately, I've been, you know, my previous videos, I do a lot of cut scenes. I do a lot of, you know, editing. I'm not going to have the time to do all that. It's, believe it or not, even if the videos aren't super professional, it takes a lot of editing, especially when I do everything from my iPhone. Um, so yeah, I don't have the, the right programs and, and the time and all of that to, to really continue to do that. So I'm going to switch up the style and make it more like Nick Jones, if you guys know who that is. He kind of just, um, in the moment, speaks about whatever topic is going on. And yeah, so we're going to be doing this this type of style and, and kind of see how that works. So I'm going to try my best not to do any cut scenes. You're going to hear me get tongue tied. You're going to hear me uh, stumble and whatever. So, but it's going to be more authentic, right? So we're going to be having a conversation. So please feel free to comment below and kind of reply to me as I talk through some of these things here. So let's get into the point of the video. So with that being said, I'm sure you guys have seen all over the news um, the school shooting, right? The Nashville shooting. And if you guys keep up with Revelation and, and are on Twitter and social media actively, you have seen the craziness going on in Israel. And, uh, yeah, it's, I'm stuck between like, like, okay. So tomorrow I'll wake up and be like, man, it is absolutely crazy. What's going on. Like we got to stand up and fight back. Um, and then the next day I'll wake up and be like, well, if it's all part of God's plan, if we already know what's going to happen, we have the blueprint, we have the Bible, uh, and we know that the end is, is near and we know what happens in the end, right? So at the same time, like we shouldn't be shocked or confused or scared necessarily. So I'm kind of caught up in between. I don't know about you guys, but it's one of those things. It's just it, daily. It's a, it's a different feeling for me, but, um, yeah, so it's scary, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of fun, you know, uh, riding the process, you know, so, uh, but yeah, with that being said here, I mean, this is, this is kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys, uh, have seen this yet, but this is Israeli lawmakers introduced a new bill aimed at persecuting Christians. This bill would punish believers with automatic jail time for sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We should immediately cut ties to all foreign aid to Israel and move all the elected officials. So let me just play a part of this video here. Conservative Christian leaders are calling on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to stop a bill proposed by members of his coalition to make it criminal to tell people about Jesus in Israel. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live near Tel Aviv with more. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. A big story just before uh, days before Palm Sunday, Good Friday and Easter sacred time for Christians. Two ultra-Orthodox members of Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition have introduced a bill that would punish believers for sharing the gospel of Jesus with prison time. United Torah Judaism Knesset members Moshe Gaffney and Yaakov Asher introduced legislation last week making it illegal to share in conversation or produce content online, in print, or by mail. Their explanation of the bill emphasizes a warning to stop Christians in particular. So, again, like, <laughs> I don't know, right? Like, okay, insane, crazy that it's happening, but at the same time, the Bible tells us this will happen. So how do we, what do we do? How do we feel? You know, um, I guess it's a personal thing for each one of us, but... I mean, it really, it really is. Unfortunately, it's it's a shame, and this this has just come down to you know, I I don't know, I don't know what to say about this, but you know, who knows if this is gonna get passed, right? Like this is probably not gonna get passed immediately. Um, it's gonna be kind of like you know, and unfortunately, sorry to hurt some of your feelings, but it's gonna be kind of like the whole homosexual deal. You know, when you when when the United States, um, you know, made homosexual marriage legal it wasn't just out of thin air it was a process right it was it was introduced 10 15 20 years before that and it was pushed and pushed and pushed and eventually they pushed the agenda so much eventually it's just like oh well of course we legalize it you know so th that's what's going to happen here whether the tribulation happens in you know 
or whether we're in it now or it happens in a year or happens in 10 or 20 or 50 years, they're going to push this. And eventually at some point, it's going to be like just common sense to ban Christianity. And when it comes to that point, we, we know, you know, what's could what could happen at any point at any, any given day, uh, with the return of Jesus. So, but we still have plenty of things to happen before that. There's a lot of prophecies that yet to be fulfilled. Um, but yes, let's see if we see anything else here. Let's just kind of give a quick run through. Um, this guy says, if you're a Christian in the Middle East, there's only one place where you're safe. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else that's conversation worthy here. But what we're going to do is we're going to move on here to the uh, Nashville shooter. So I'm just going to just going to brush on this really quick. Again, you guys know about it. You've been watching the news, seeing the stuff on social media. But uh, I just kind of want to say here this, there certainly is going to be a, a Christian attack, right? Whether you believe in Christianity or not, Christianity and the theologies are decreasing daily. And we have more and more craziness going on in society. The, the further away we get from Christianity in the United States and throughout the whole world. So with that being said, um, you know, there, those people who are so against it and or have grew up atheists with atheist parents, of course, they're going to not like Christianity when they hear that people are, people don't support gay marriage. Like, who are those people? And then they develop these grudges or, you know, the whatever, whatever. I'm not going to get into all, to the weeds of all that. But the point is, there is a growing uh, there is a growing fear and there is a growing hatred towards Christians and Christianity. And with that comes a lot of horrible things here. And sorry to upset you guys if, if you guys do get upset here, but um, mental illness is severe. And, and being trans and homosexual, in my opinion, is a form of a mental illness. I think being homosexual is just completely a perversion. Not to say that we don't all have perversions. I have perversions too. But homosexuality is a perversion and being transgender, I think, is a mental condition. And uh, with that obviously comes naturally uh, dislike for anything righteous, right? So anyways, uh, this, this woman here, or man, or whatever you want to call it, shot up this, this Christian school. And it's very unfortunate. It's very sad. But... Again, this is what we expect from these psychopaths, right? We don't expect them to be loving, right? They're, they are the whatever. But look at this here, guys. So this is this is just horrible here. But let me, uh, where did this go? Of course, I just had it and it disappeared. Bear with me, guys. You might have to skip it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, so this says, this makes me sick to my stomach. The transgender shooter, Aubrey, or uh, sorry, Audrey Hale, who shot up Covenant Christian, school in Nashville, targeted Haley Shrugs, a nine-year-old girl, because she was the pastor's daughter. His only daughter and youngest child is now gone. So again, the, she sought out the pastor's daughter. I mean, that's unreal. You know, the, the, it shows the devil is certainly working in them. You know, I mean, that that's not, I don't think that's natural human element to want to for one, harm people in that fashion, but for two, target specifically Christians and make those Christian parents the rest of their lives, you know, I won't, I won't say complete misery because they could, they could get well from this. They could, you know, find peace, but at least short term, they're going to be living in hell. That's, I, I can't imagine losing, losing, I can't imagine losing my dog, let alone um, I, one of my ch children if I had any, but, uh, yeah, here's this. I don't know if you guys have seen this video. It's pretty, pretty wild, pretty cool. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Let's see, man, I don't mean to be rude, but she is one ugly man. Anyways. Yeah, guys, I, I don't know. This video is probably already getting longer than, than I wanted to here. And um, this was just a trial just to kind of test this and see, you know, what kind of feedback I get. So I apologize for not being super prepared. I'm on my lunch right now. And, uh, and yeah, I just figured I should try to record a video and get this out there. So anyways, guys, um, moral of the story is we know 
horrible things are going are they happen every day and they're only going to get worse and the attack on christianity is real and um you know i wish i had something to say that is like you know something to just you know a, a good note to leave off of but but you know this is a part of the process right if we believe in god we have to expect the horrible things to come and we know that horrible things are are uh, only on the rise for us you know so it's a beautiful hideous thing at the same time but um yeah read your bibles guys and um build that relationship with jesus i'm currently on that it's it's not easy never is easy maybe it's someday when when uh i could relax a bit and i'm an old man maybe it would be easier then but who knows right who knows i don't know maybe you guys are old men and still having the same struggles as i do so anyways guys enough of the rambling i appreciate you very much if you have any any topics to discuss anything you want me to review um anything like that my email is always in the description and please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. I would say share this video, but this video is probably trash. And uh, I wouldn't want you to waste anyone's time sharing this, you know, watching this video here. It's pointless. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I will try to be back soon. No promises, but I will do my best. Uh, the goal is to upload twice a week. So hopefully I'll see you then. But uh, yeah, guys, God bless. Talk soon.